time, bag time, it's bag time. <laughs> what is up Cracker Nation? It is your girl Princess Galaxy and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about something that's been on my mind lately. So I've been to literally over 30 concerts and I'm 24 years old. So I've kind of realized that I don't bring the amount of stuff to concerts like I used to. And today I just wanted to show you guys what I have evolved to when it comes to putting stuff in my bag for a concert. So when it comes to going to a concert, because of all the rules around, you know, what type of bag you need to bring and stuff like that, I always bring either a small bag or a medium sized bag that's transparent. And also everything I'm gonna talk about today is gonna be linked in the description. And I also have an Amazon storefront that you can shop with as well. First, I'm gonna talk about the stuff that I bring and then I'm gonna talk about stuff that can also be a part of an essential bag, like things that I wouldn't bring, but maybe you would need to. So let's get started. I'm also just a huge fan of small bags in general um, because I just hate like having to carry like a huge tote, like especially if I don't have to. Um, I, I would rather not, you know what I mean? I'm a light, I'm a light girl now. Skinny, no. <laughs> I'm just a light packer these days, just like everything in life at this point. Like I just, if I don't need it, I'm not gonna bring it. That's, that's my little motto. If I don't need it, it's not coming, okay? And that literally includes like my entire wallet, but we'll get into that in a second. So the first item I bring is my lip gloss. Oh my gosh, I love this lip gloss. It's the Fenty Beauty, um, I forgot what it's called. It's a gloss bomb in bussy, in bussy. <laughs> so this is obviously like my number one thing. I know it's like so basic. You're, I'm like, girl, you're like, girl, can you be serious for a second? But I always like apply my lip gloss, like no matter where I am, like this past few months, I have become a lip gloss girl and literally I'm just obsessed. Like I go out to the club, this is in my purse. I go to work, this is in my purse. I go to, you know, the coffee shop, this is in my purse. So this is my staple. Number two is earplugs, which I actually don't have on me right now. <laughs> I don't have them on me. I actually have to buy some, but when it comes to concerts, I feel like people don't talk about ear safety enough because after a concert, do you, have you ever been to a concert and afterwards like, you can't really hear and like it's a slight ringing and then it goes away well over time you keep doing that at every concert you are going to have permanent tinnitus which is basically like the ringing of your ears over a long over a long period of time so i wish more people would talk about it because i think i have like a minor case of tinnitus from all the concerts i've been to where my ears were unprotected and even if you go to a concert and you're like oh shoot like i don't have any earplugs you know what i mean I would always like recommend to at least put something in your ears like whether it's like tissue paper or anything like that so that's what I do sometimes when I'm at the club and I don't have my um earplugs because Cameron actually got me some but I also have some that I was recommended on Amazon the link is in the description and they are like meant for concerts so I would check those out and I'm probably gonna buy them in like the next few weeks so yeah Next is a portable charger. So I always make sure to bring a portable charger with me because personally, like even if I charge my phone like all the way, like before I go to a concert, I always like to have this because what if I'm going with someone and like their phone's about to die, do you know what I mean? Like, I just like having this as like a sense of like, okay, like, especially if you're like traveling from city to city and like you connect your phone to your car for music and then like you listen to music on the train or on the subway or something like that and then you get to the concert and then you're like oh shit my battery's at 50 percent and it's like still light outside the concert doesn't start for three hours and like now you have to try to find a plug somewhere it's just too much like i just hate it so much so always like bring one of these for sure and also i used to have a mophie which basically is like it's a brand but i had like when i had my galaxy s8 like in 2019 a lifetime ago i literally had the mophie where you have like the battery pack connected to like the back of your phone case and like you could connect it and you could turn it on and off like you could literally turn the phone case on and off like just be like okay charge it okay don't charge it and like you can put it full battery and it had like 2000 mpas or amps or whatever the charging thing is so always a battery pack whether it's on your phone with like magsafe 
or just a traditional one. Next is a duo. So it is a credit card. Uh, peep the chime, okay? Chime sponsor me, please. And your ID. <gasps> my ID, oh my God. So, okay, obviously I'm over 21. So I have to bring my ID to stadiums and arenas so I can get alcoholic beverages and pay $10 million for a single cocktail. <laughs> and it's not even strong even if you're under 21 i honestly recommend bringing an id no matter what because especially like if you're getting tickets from will call or something like that that's really important to have it on you and just in general like i just feel like i couldn't go anywhere without my id next is the credit card so a lot of arenas and stadiums now are like cashless like a lot of venues so especially a lot of them are owned by like live nation and stuff like that and they they honestly like they always recommend to go cashless so I wouldn't even try to like bring like if you have 20 30 40 dollars like I wouldn't even try to bring it because like in cash I would just try to put it on maybe like a debit card or like have a credit card for like merch and drinks and food and stuff like that it's not worth it to just like bring like straight cash going in Bloop. finally for me when it comes to my essentials are my keys Ooh, look at my keys peep my keys don't take my um don't take my chicago public library card <laughs> okay so i actually got these from the museum of um ice cream cameron and i went a few months ago actually not a few months ago last year <gasps> oh my god it's like april that's nuts okay anyway and peep the charm the k-pop on broadway charm i saw them in november amazing and yeah so obviously you want your keys depending on the situation like especially if you're driving in or even if you live in the city it's still important to like obviously remember because you want to get in and out of your mode of transportation yeah and of course my phone but i'm recording with my phone right now so here's some additional things that you could definitely take to your next concert that would be of essential for me based on what's going on in my life and how I'm feeling. I'll definitely like bring other stuff like, you know, a pad if I need it. Like if I'm cramping, I'll bring like a few, like like two little Tylenols or whatever because I don't want to bring like a bunch of pills into the state. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so I'm trying not, not to get arrested. I don't think they're gonna arrest me for Tylenol, but still. Another thing, like if I'm like, cautious about like maybe catching a cold or COVID-19 I would probably bring like hand sanitizer Cameron like my fiance Cameron he is a, he's like a hand sanitizer girly like he's he's all about the hand creams the hand sanitizers and all that stuff even after he washes his hands so I always like if he's coming with me I pack it but otherwise I would not I'm sorry babe I love you though but you know that next is a face mask I still see uh, a good amount of people depending on where I am wearing face masks whether it's in the club or at different concerts I go to so honestly I I don't mind people like still wearing face masks because it's all about your comfort level in a crowd and I always want people to feel comfortable so that's why like I don't know I don't like when people are like take off that mask hope it's over it's like you don't know if that person is like exposed to someone who's maybe sick at home like not just with covid but like someone who's sick in general and stuff like that like that's why i don't be trying to police people on that kind of stuff and if it's like super hot outside i will bring like a portable fan there's this cute portable fan that i literally saw on amazon i was like oh my god like i have to buy this so i'm waiting for july in july cameron and i are actually seeing beyonce <gasps> beyonce and drake drake well drake is his thing and beyonce is my thing so i already know for beyonce i'm gonna be hot af it's gonna be soldier field she's going for i think two nights and i think i'm going to the first night and she's it's literally going to be so hot like july in chicago humidity i know it's gonna be like soldier field is right next to like michigan but i still feel like i have to cross my t's and dot my eyes because at that point i'm just like girl i'm gonna be looking cute i'm gonna have a little makeup not too much makeup on i'm gonna have a little light look like i got on right now um like a little no makeup makeup look a little you know lip gloss and i know i'm gonna be hot af so i know i need to bring a portable fan anything like even if it's like those little circle fans even if it doesn't have like a holder on it like i would still like pack it in here in the a little baggy bag so that's basically it if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know and comment um you know what type of things do you bring to your concerts do you like not even care about this like do you just bring like a whole bag of stuff like 
you know, what do you do for concerts? Like, I want to know what other people bring to their concerts because I don't go to other people around the arena and look in their bags. So I'm just like kind of curious. So if you want to see more videos about K-pop concerts, let me know. And I will see you next time. And yeah, be cute, wear lip gloss, and be bisexual. Bye.